Okay. <laughs> There, I, I've deduced that there might be too much waiting in this video, and so we've just lost our minds. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to another video. What are we gonna be doing today, Carly? We're gonna be making custom pasta. That's right, we've dabbled in the art of custom pasta a little bit on our TikTok and our live stream, where we tried substituting different liquids into the dough of our pasta, but the flavor was never super strong and usually came from the toppings. So today we're gonna to be taking it one step further by not only including bizarre liquids in the noodle dough, but also boiling the noodles in that liquid to hopefully enhance the flavor for better or for worse. So we have three different flavors there was a pasta that we're gonna be attempting today, as well as several pasta makers at the ready. They're behind Sophia, there. Wait, no, they're we're all right behind you. They're behind me. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start out with our first recipe, the breakfast pasta. Hopefully we won't blow a fuse like last time. I do see that there are pickles on that table over there. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> the, the categories for these pasta is breakfast, dessert, and then gross. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the <laughs> breakfast pasta, the uh, flavoring agent is orange juice here. Right, I think Carly uh, told me she tested with coffee that it was awful. Okay. It was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> so we went with orange juice. Now, in case you're new to our custom pasta maker or could just use a refresher, which I could, the way this machine works is that you add in your flour and then as the machine is going, you basically pour in your liquid of choice at the top here to make a custom dough. Pretty simple recipe is literally just flour and orange juice. Yeah, I think in like, um, I, I actually have no idea. So I'm about to just completely make a fool of myself. But when you're making like real like Italian pasta from scratch, there's a fair amount of like eggs involved and that's um clearly not present here. This is just flour and liquid. But I almost think that that's um, better because then no part of it is authentic. Right. It's all it's all awful. This is the recommended recipe for these machines. So yes, 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 yes. Plausible deniability. They actually have two recipes and one involves eggs. <laughs> this is one of the two recipes. <laughs> also, these machines are a little bit temperamental and in practice, the egg recipe is almost too viscous for the machine. So good pasta makers, they are not. All right, let's jump in. So first up, we gotta put 175 grams of flour into this thing here. Yes. Yes, okay. Oh, do you want me to see this? Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. I like, what am I doing here again? Good question. <laughs> it's a valid question at the very least. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the flour into the machine. Cool, hold that. I have a purpose. Yeah, I'll hold Thank this you. thing. I'll hold this single thing. All right, ready, going in. Perfect, there you go, thank you. Then I put that thing back on. Then we're gonna measure out 60 milliliters of orange juice. Ooh. And mix in five drops of yellow food coloring and one drop of red food coloring. Ooh. Oh, damn. That is really red. What the hell? No, but it'll get diluted okay. super fast. This is a flaming hot Cheeto breakfast pasta. Maybe that's a video like making things flaming hot Cheeto flavored when they shouldn't be. Yeah. Yeah. Flaming hot Cheeto things no one asked for. That's how it happens, people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now it's time to turn on our pasta machine. All right, plug it in. And then we pick the springy setting on the top here. Good. <laughs> yeah. Who doesn't like springy, right? I, I think it's a good uh, adjective. Adjective. And then confirm. As they confirm? Yeah. Yes. Two-step authentication, Google. Then we're gonna slowly pour our liquid through the slots here. Looks good. Looks nice and like tomato ready. V8 vibes. As the machine turns so the liquid can get incorporated. Just a reminder to everyone, what just went in there was orange juice. Because <laughs> I forgot. I was like, looks great. There you go, perfect. Great, excellent. Okay, so it stirs for like three minutes and then it rests for eight minutes. Mm. All right, so we got eight minutes to wait here. So we can really do anything. We could go make out in the closet for the next six minutes and 46 seconds, seven minutes in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Ways to make everyone in the room uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know. We need to tell me how are you gonna spend the next seven minutes? That's, that's all I think about. That is that is the first thing that comes. <laughs> yeah, what can you do for se seven minutes and only seven minutes? Whatever, what else happens for seven minutes? Well, now it's six minutes and 18 seconds, 17 seconds, 16, 15 seconds. So. You can get abs, six minute abs, right? Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Flaming hot cheese. F flaming hot cheese? They make that. <laughs> flaming hot oatmeal. You know what's never been tried is flaming hot cheese steak. Well, that sounds pretty good. Flaming hot cereal? That could definitely work. We had flaming hot Cheeto ice cream. I was looking at the fridge and thinking, Flaming Hot Hands? Flaming Hot Frog? <laughs> flaming Hot? Flaming Hot Toucan Face? Just watching your eyes go up to the cat food bag was scary. <laughs> flaming Hot Cat! Flaming Hot 
tortilla. So like the tortilla. That sounds kind of good though. Are we trying to make Doesn't bad it? things or good things? No, it has to sound like it's gonna be bad. Flaming hot Oreo. That yeah. could be really interesting. Carly turned around. <laughs> everything <laughs> she was doing. Oh. Yeah. One more thing and that's a video for sure. Flaming hot. Flaming hot donuts interesting because people like crazy donuts, a la like voodoo donuts. People you know, like. No, we don't know how to deep fry things though. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> Yet. Okay, so if anyone's still watching after that, our eight minutes of resting is almost up. Oh yeah. So now it's time for us to put our bowl underneath the nozzle here and wait for the noodles to start extruding. Oh, there it goes. Oh, here we go. Oh. Is that the word? Yeah. Extr okay, got it. Okay, extruding. Extruding. Oh, it looks like a good color, Carly. Thank God. It looks orange. It lightened up. It does have a good Chester Cheeto. It actually it. looks Cheeto-y, yeah. yeah. And it's gonna extrude noodles for five minutes. Yeah, it will. Yeah. Hello world. It's like zoodles, it's extrudles. <laughs> Stupid, sorry. <laughs> you know. It's great. Yeah. We're definitely gonna speed it up. And if we haven't sped it up yet, we should just, we'll speed it up and show that <laughs> as well. Cause it's really fun yeah. when it comes out super we fast. We just need that time lapse. Mm. Yeah, I agree. Mm. It looks good like that. I mean, that's what made us do this in the first place is I saw some random Instagram video of just this visual and I was like, we need that. I want to go to there. There is a lump sitting there. There's just a lump sitting on the edge. Is it gonna get, is it gonna go? Go home, lump. You too good for your home, lump? Oh! 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 Man! <laughs> God damn, that was satisfying. And once we're done extruding, I just gotta cut the noodles off at the nozzle. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, look at their little arms. Oh no, no. All right, it's pasta one, baby. Okay, so now that we have our raw breakfast noodles, it's time to boil them in more orange juice to make it as orangey, as tangy as possible. And then we'll add some toppings on after. So yeah. what we're gonna do here is we're gonna pour in a quart of orange juice, so four cups. That's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of it. <laughs> and then we're going to put it onto our hot plate on high. Yes, and in the background, I'll be making an egg to put on top of our pasta at the end as a garnish. So we'll be back in a couple of minutes. So we are getting to the point where we're ready to dump our raw orange juice noodles. In Okay, it's not going over. Time. Now <laughs> is the time for us to put our orange juice noodles into the boiling orange juice. It is this very boiling. This happens to us every time. Yes. Literally without fail. But the show must go on. Okay, submerge, submerge, submerge. And we're gonna leave those in for about two minutes. Get to that perfect al dente. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That. I don't know if that's on is the table. Is it al dente or is it al dente? Al dente. There you go, al dente. Al dente. It know. sounds like a music time signature. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of looks like a dirty dish towel from right here. It does not look good. Like if a shirt was orange and folded up a lot. <laughs> it does smell good in here though. We didn't really get to talk about the smell. No, we got the boiling orange juice, the hot orange yes. is a good smell. All right, so it's been about two minutes of us talking um, and boiling and stirring. So it's time for us to strain. Yeah. Ready? All right. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> I thought you were about to do Steve from Sex and the City. There's good stuff here. <laughs> <laughs> There's good stuff here. All right, great. Should we plate? We should. There we go. Towards you and Booyah. It's pretty colorful, I will say though. It looks like a big time like sweet potato. Noodle. Oh yeah. yeah. I could see that, sweet potato noodle. Okay, so now to really make it a breakfast pasta, we need the right garnishments. We've sort of had them on the table, so you guys can guess. Obviously, it's the table syrup. <laughs> Not maple. Not maple, Canadians. And <laughs> these real crumbled bacon bits. What's there it? was a second bag, but our cat ate it. This could save it, actually. These these are pretty fragrant. Those could this save could it. This could save it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you weren't loving it before this? I don't know. And um, then I have an egg that's been sitting here, which at one point was sunny side up, but now it's just like a, fo a fog. It's kind of like a soft boiled egg. There you go. Yeah, I'm not sure about this one, guys. We're gonna try it. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Don't try and get out of this. We're All right. trying it. All right, we have forks over here. Forks. All right. You want to do simultaneous bites or you want to do uh, me first and you? I'll go down with you. Let's do it together. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Hi. Cheers. You Breakfast just... pasta, baby. Are you kidding? That's good. I have no idea what she was gonna say. That's so good. <laughs> what could what could be wrong with that? It's very sweet. The pasta In, is very sweet. It's a stack of pancakes. Oh. But it's just. Pasta. <laughs> it, you know what? It does taste like almost everything from breakfast at once. Yeah. Everything from breakfast at once. Definitely got the orange juice flavor in the noodles. Mm -hmm. Definitely there. The egg is well. I like the egg. I like the burnt egg. That's kind of good. 
<laughs> you don't have to expose me like that. No one can see that it's fur. I like the egg. <laughs> I think the orange juice is a little sweet, but that's just me. As someone who ate maybe more of these pastas than you did, because we made all those TikToks where I had to eat all those pastas. You've done this multiple times, yeah. <laughs> definitely boiling it in the liquid amps up the flavor, for sure. There's a lot of flavor there. I can taste the orange juice with no like orange juice on the plate, you know? It's like you had a breakfast plate, stack of pancakes, egg, bacon, and you had a fruit salad that you ate earlier, but it's kind of left a little hint on the pancake. That is a good thing is the cross-contamination of breakfast is excellent. Yeah. Right, when you have a little maple syrup left over on your plate, you bring in the egg because you already ate your pancakes yeah. and they all gotta get a few together. Let me try yeah. it one more time. This whole plate being eaten right now is kind of I like it. I right, make another egg, put it on there. So with this consumed, Yes. It's now in pasta two, which is our dessert pasta. Okay, so for pasta two, our dessert pasta, we're making a cookies and cream pasta because we do like exclusively Oreo content in this channel. Yeah. Yeah. The well-loved package. It's really not brand new. <laughs> and the plan here is that we're gonna incorporate the Oreo cookies into the flour to really amp up the flavor. So we're gonna take four Oreos and remove the cream. These are a little older than the last time I saw them. <laughs> but then that came off as a full disc. Yeah. And what do I do with the creams, Carly? Just have them, eat them? You can eat them or throw them out. <laughs> we can use them as dressing later. Oh. Oh. That's kind of smart. Look at you. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. That scared me. There we go, there we go, there we go. Smooth like butter. That was a good one. And then we're gonna blend our cookies. Thank you to our resident defrostinger. I'm an artist in residence, Here you clearly. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Until they're very fine in this blender. Woo! Let's get it finer. Blend more. Whoa. <laughs> more. <laughs> and it's the mind flare now. I know. I was like instantly like it looks like Stranger Things. It's the mind flare. It's okay. all up at the top. <laughs> Let's see what survived. Ooh. Ooh. That's dusty. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. It smells amazing. Now we're gonna measure out 30 grams of Oreo dust into our Pyrex. I would like aim it like that and then just like smack it and see what happens. See you know what I mean? As Akon says, nay demands. Smack that. Not gently knock. Is that smacking enough for you? No. That's better, that's better. Then we're gonna add in enough flour so we have 175 grams of dry base total. I'm gonna also stir as I go so we don't just have just the Oreo at the bottom. I'm actually very excited for this pasta. The dessert pastas have always been good. Yeah, because you can usually just mask it in lots of cream. Yeah, because it's just like... Dairy to the face. Yeah. That's pretty much it. 174? You can't really complain about 174. Yeah, let's go with 174 here. All right, let's add this in. Let's do this. Ow. There we go. Okay, and let's put this back on top. Perfect. And for this round, the liquid we're gonna be mixing into our dough is heavy cream. You know, cookies and cream. That looks good. Coolio. All right, let's do this. Springy noodles. Let's hit it. Springy. And confirm. Oh, it's thick. It, it is. It is thick. We really are gonna have to try and avoid making any of those dated thick jokes. <laughs> thick with two C's. <laughs> thick with the Q-U-E. <laughs> Q U E, you said? Yeah. Thicky. Thicky. You're going with the Clinique spelling? <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. Close enough. All right, we got 32 more seconds of springy action. Eight minutes of resting. And on the eighth minute, it will spring. All right, let's see what you got. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, it looks good. That's got some Oreo vibes to it. Yeah, it looks kind of speckled. Oh. What are we boiling this in? Milk. <laughs> I had to do oat milk because normal milk just curdles. <laughs> That might just be it. Let me uh, cut it off. Cool, great. Beautiful. On to the boiling. All right, so we're just gonna go with this oat milk. 50% more calcium because we're being healthy. And because Oatly is being recalled. <laughs> that always happens. I know. Us. We're gonna do, once again, a quart. A quart? A quart. <laughs> I don't have to make an egg for this one, do I? No, I don't think so. Oh, we're going. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna turn this on. And now we wait. For the oat milk to boil. Yeah. We do have the little creams. I think maybe if the pasta's warm, yeah. we put it on immediately afterwards to oh, see if it'll milk. melt a little okay, bit. Got I don't, it. That might be a weird idea, but. Like a butter. Yes. Oh, like butter on top of a pancake. Yes, yep. yes, yes, exactly. yes, yes, yes. A quick garnish. All right, it is starting to boil. Let's get our pasta in there. Ooh, 
Okay, right, let me work that in. It looks good already. It smells kind of fun. From Carly's um, research and experimentation, apparently this one kind of breaks up yeah. in the milk. So it kind of turns out sort of like a um, rice pudding. Risotto? Risotto? Yeah. It's sort of happening already, you can kind of tell. Yeah. The sanctity of the noodles is undermined by the, uh, the cookie crumble. All right, so I think that could be decently cooked. Let's move it over to the sink. Interesting. Yeah. It looks like a little bit like soggy cereal right now. Yep, I see it. All right, and plating, action, happening, ready. Ooh, Nelly. <laughs> Not quite uh, noodles really anymore. Yeah, they're more like little twigs. All right, and then I'm going in. I'm gonna put my little creams on. See if I can brat it while we're still hot. Oh, okay, well, they're crumbling. No, I think it's gonna work. Oh, yeah, it is. It's I was gonna say, it's, it's literally melting. It's melting like I wanted it to. <laughs> oh, it looks beautiful. All right, I'm gonna hit the other garnishes now. You have some Oreo crumbles that Carly crumbled for you. Oh, thank you, Carly. Ready Whip and Hershey syrup. Oh, this is decadent. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. That's that's elevated. That little yeah. like, sort of like yeah. just just getting the syrup on the plate. Yeah. Yep. That works on Food Network Star. Artful, artful. Yes. This is artful. Let me completely cover it. <laughs> that looks good. You got, you come It on. does look good. <laughs> does it look like pasta? I don't know. <laughs> All right, you wanna do this? Yeah. Simultaneous bites again. Is it time for the taste test? All right, ready? Cheers. Cheers, oh, cheers. <laughs> that is good. Whoa. That is awesome. Whoa. Whoa, that is good. Oh. It's almost like it's converging to cake with the flour. Yes. Right? <laughs> yes, yes. It's kind of like a wet cake. Yeah, mm. yep. Can I help you? So closer to the center, there's a little less of the toppings. Yeah. <laughs> and I like that the best. Oh yeah, okay, let me see. Cause it's just like a warm, wet chocolate feeling. Oh, I completely agree. Right? That's a very strong profile right there. It's wet, but then it's stringy a little. Yeah. yeah. Warm, wet, and stringy but good. All right, I will say this one's currently the leader of the pasta so far. Yeah. But before we declare a winner of a competition that's not really happening, we need to take on the category deemed gross, which is our pickled juice pasta. Because what's the point of making custom pasta flavors if you don't make one that is truly cursed? Let's do it. All right, so we're starting yeah. where we started before, 175 grams of flour. And as we said, our key ingredient here is pickle juice. So we're gonna need 60 milliliters of it. By the way, Mount Olive Pickle from North Carolina, baby. So represent. So we're gonna strain some out for the dough and for the boil. You could probably garnish with these guys later too. Yeah. yeah. That juice is actually greener than I thought it would be. Yeah. So, would you look at that? Okay, let's separate out our dough juice and then add in our food coloring. That's gonna be five drops of green and three drops of yellow. You know, there's a greater than 0% chance that this is edible. Yeah, I like pickles. Not to mention also that, you know, it's like also got a vinegary dynamic to it. And vinegar with a lot of things works really well, especially Pasta noodles. salad? Right. Cold noodles, vinegar, often a featured ingredient. I agree. Hot pickle. We'll see if that's, that's acceptable or not. Perfect. Okay. Pickle juice, Papa. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> is that you, the pickle juice, Papa? <laughs> pickle juice pasta. All right, our pickle juice pasta is prepped and ready to go. We have about a minute and 15 seconds left of it doing its little spooling action, and then it's gonna sit for eight minutes, and then we're gonna see what it looks like. Pickle juice papa. <laughs> maybe, that was, maybe that was the line. Pickle juice papa, coming at you. <laughs> like um, Dr. Mike is, you know, the hot doctor. <laughs> Tyler's the pickle juice papa. <laughs> Can we throw a hot in there? <laughs> hot pickle juice papa. Implying <laughs> there are other ones. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm taking my. I'm leaving. I'm taking my coffee. I'm getting out of here. Here we go. It's pickle time, baby. Oh, it's green. Oh, it's green. Oh yeah. Kind of looks like a time lapse of uh, grass growing. If you just forget for a second that it's supposed to be flavored like pickle juice, it's pretty glamorous. Well, you can't forget because I can smell the pickle juice from here. I kind of like the way it smells, actually. Do you like the smell of pickles? It kind of smells fresh. To me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Cool. Cool. More pasta. What kind of pasta is it? It's pickle pasta. Who's in charge of it? The pickle papa. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't know the pickle papa is. It's the pickle juice papa. The pickle juice papa. <laughs> yeah. Right, one more time for the pickle juice papa. <laughs> okay. So here we go. We have our vin we have our pickle juice pasta. It's raw. It's ready to go. 
It's ready to be boiled. So let's get our pickle juice a boiling, and then we can start making this pasta. Listen, you might regret your pickle juice papa moniker once that thing starts to a boil. <laughs> okay, here we go. I feel like we've completed multiple steps of some very horrific curse. And this is really the thing that's just gonna take it over the edge. This is the Absolutely. final signature. Yeah, exactly, Absolutely. right. So we need four cups of pickle juice here so that we have enough to boil these noodles in. That is a lot of pickle juice, man. It's a lot of pickle juice. This whole place is gonna smell like pickles soon. It's not gonna be great. I think we definitely, it actually kind of burned my nostrils. I think we're playing with some different uh, pickle juice formulations in there. It kind of smells good. I haven't decided if I like it yet or not. Now I'm gonna think about it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What is that, guitar? Yeah. <laughs> He's strumming on the banjo? I'm playing like a guitar. Actually, this thing is definitely ready oh, to go Oh, it's now. boiling. All right, so let's do this. Yeah. And pickle pasta going in. Hmm, what a lump. It's a lovely pasta lump. Check it out. That is very green. You know what they say about being green? It's not easy. That's exactly <laughs> what I wanted you to say. All right, I think that's about as al dente as it needs to be. So why don't we uh, go ahead and pour it? I think it's at a good level here. So I'm gonna turn off my hot plate and I'm gonna Bring it over here. Ready? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's a lot of pickle steam to the face. <laughs> oh, I wasn't ready for that. All right, here we go. Pickle pasta. It looks actually pretty, like our best looking pasta. Yeah. Overall, honestly, so far, it looks really yeah, good. Yeah, it here. looks really good. It's really a good color, too. Okay, so, Carly, in terms of garnishment. <laughs> so, Carly. <laughs> what are you thinking here? I did the sweet relish as the sauce and then garnish with the pickles. Go for it, Tyler. You so start. You've chosen violence. I, <laughs> the category is gross. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, the globs. The globs. Okay, and then here's some pickles here. I've tried to maintain a very positive attitude about this, but the copious amounts of relish is scaring me. <laughs> Although. Pick four, just four. I'm not. And then one well. <laughs> mini one in the middle. I'm not outright anti relish. Like I can, I can, I can deal with relish. I might be anti relish. Yeah? Yeah. I'm not, but I don't think this is gonna be fun. All right, pickle juice papa. <laughs> you go first. This is how I got my name. <laughs> okay, that's not kind of it. You tried to cut it like a breakfast sausage or something? Yeah. That one's not gonna go either. Okay, maybe. It didn't cut. Okay, I'm doing this. Very rubbery. Rubbery? Because mm -hmm. it's slippery? You need some concentration? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think Tyler's crying. No. <laughs> I see a tear in your eye. I hate the delivery method. Mm -hmm. I hate the rubberiness. Okay. I don't dislike the taste, so. I have to overcome some of the tactile components of it, but I think that I kind of think it's good. All right, pickle juice mama, it's your turn. I, I think I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Cheers. The closed eyes. Just chew. Just chew. Just keep chewing. Okay. Overall, I think it is um, below average. <laughs> I think- A that, below average food experience? Yeah. I actually think the rubbery part is the pickle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it definitely is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, red, the, the rubbery part's the pickle, yeah, I agree. So that's the bad part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. So the part you like is the pasta. Yeah, I like the pasta. I agree, I think the pasta with no topping is okay. Warm vinegar pasta is completely fine. Relish and, and pickles on top, I'm not so sure. That was bite number three, I don't think I want another one. So after our third round with the pasta makers, we've learned a lot here today. Yes. We've had some ups, some downs, we've had some breakfast, we've had some, had some dessert, we've had some- Unspeakable items. It's, uh, yes, which is becoming a trademark the channel. But yeah. I think if we had to choose my favorite, it's pretty pretty clean in this one. I think that the Oreo dessert pasta was like actually incredible. I think that my favorite was probably the breakfast pasta just because it had an added element of meal to it. Mm. You know right. what I mean? It's like pasta plus syrup plus egg protein. Yes. And the pickle, let's get real, was a travesty. But overall, I actually, I, I did think that boiling the pasta in their respective liquids was a good idea. It really made a difference. It I made agree. the pasta machine a little more, I think, fun and dynamic. Yeah. And you can tell them that's what Pickle Juice Papa said. So if you like that video, you can smash or gently tap that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, you can smash or gently tap that subscribe button. Here are our various social media handles where we do social media stuff. Here's our merch website. And with that, we'll see you guys next time.